I mean, I met Hyde in the class, and the first time I've met him just this year, and he would talk and talk and talk so openly about his cancer, and it's just amazing, it's so inspirational, so I suggest that you start a Facebook page, let's get shirts from there, snowballs, and it is what it is. Um, so basically, uh, we're all trying to wear these shirts as many people as possible. We're trying to get as many people as possible to wear these shirts. Um, and a couple minutes, five, ten minutes before fourth period, uh, everyone gets out of class early and meets in the Mustang Mall. Uh, we're going to have music set up, we're going to have people ready to speak, uh, a lot of his uh, close students and some of the teachers and other past colleagues. Um, they're all going to speak and during fourth period, Noelle is going to start us off with taking off her shirt, or revealing her shirt, having a small little speech, and then she's going to have everybody else who's in fourth period uh, who has shirts reveal their shirts, and then they're all going to walk outside and he's going to see the whole crowd of people, uh, see the crowd of people that are wearing the shirts and hopefully react to whatever we react and we're just going to start with the music and speeches and things like that and then at the end we're going to announce how much money we have uh, raised that's going to donate to prostate cancer research. And how much money have you guys raised so far, you know? Uh, well, we're planning at about 13 to 1400 that's what, we're, that's what we're hoping for, if we can get all the people who pay their exact amount that they've said they would pay. And anyway, can you get a quick, quick glimpse of the shirts? Of course. Yeah. Alright, so the first is just the basic design. Keep calm, uh, fight on with the uh, prostate cancer colors um, and the cancer ribbon. And then on the back, it's like Team Heidemann style, Jersey style, uh, with his last name. And the number 39 represents the number of years. Very cool. Who came up with that design? Um, I came up with the front, and some of the I think Michaela Schwab came up with the back design. Very cool. Alright. Nice one. So right now we get people that are here. Yeah. 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 They're either absent or are absent. Um, well, uh, yeah, um, then you're going to have to come over here. Because right. yeah. uh, we have like the list of people. What's the Absolutely. mask list that we're checking out? Not sure. It's over here? All right, guys, here we go. I got, I got some questions for you. Okay, Here's some money. Oh, awesome. 20, oh, wait. 30, 40. Um, I don't know how we're dealing with the fourth period height of people. Like, I told the AMP kids on people's honor, if they said they paid you, then to verify it with you guys. Yeah. And I think a couple people did that. So this data won't be exactly correct. But it'll be as close. It'll be 90%. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, it's, it's there there it's are at least 30 shirts left over. Yeah. They got and and the shirts, shirts. Yeah. there shirts. There are 31 to 38 extra shirts. All right? Yeah. So we have to do we have extra we have to do the Heidemann shirts not to Heidemann because then you would find out obviously. So we have to do them either the next period or the previous period before that. So we have to do it personally. Every single day he shows up with a smile. And I'm having cancer, I mean, that's, I, I don't know how he does it, I don't know how he does it, and every day there's some bit of advice he gives us that, it's one of those, like, aphorisms that you read in a book when he makes up a new one, like, every day. I want people who didn't know who Mr. Hyman was on campus to know who he was, um, know what he stands for, know the impact he's making on the students, and hopefully raise money for prostate cancer. So when I end, should I hand it off to you? You're not going to say anything. I'm just going to talk on behalf of the three of us. Yep. Yeah, please. Yeah. Okay. Put, in, yeah. put in her envelope. All right. All right. I'll do that. Yeah, so that's all you need to do, really. It's just like an introduction. It's not like, well, I mean, you could say, like, why we started it. Oh, well, that's, um, I know that. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm not going to go to the whole thing. 
other people are going to talk to. Exactly. Okay, cool. I can yeah. do that. Yeah, exactly. It's just like an introduction with the same line. Awesome. All right, so there's no no shirts left. We raised exactly a thousand bucks at the moment. Still, a lot of his family is gonna uh, basically donate as well. That's where we're at right now. And uh, what are we waiting on? Time, basically. We're just waiting for people to get out of class so we can start making the tunnel. Got the sweatshirt all at the same time, so wow. they're gonna be it's able like 12, to see it. Yeah, twelve fifteen is probably when they're gonna start. And then does anyone have any song recommendations? Yeah, I know. What, happy? <laughs> what is this child? Just like good. Yeah, but I don't want to crowd crowd around the classroom because you might see outside. So you know what I'm saying? Okay, it's about to get hectic out here. I'm super nervous right now. You have no idea. Oh Why? My God. I'm just like I'm just hoping everything goes out like smoothly. So they're gonna stay in the back. They want to be in the back of the tunnel at the end. At the end of the tunnel. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's perfect. No, I was just gonna keep him in there because all, all the people that are in there are gonna come out after, and then they're, they're, they're next just gonna stay in there. I told him. Three, I told Noel to start in three minutes. <laughs> Stop the <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Heidenen, um, I have an announcement. It's kind of a surprise. Um, the cameras are in here for a reason that you don't know about. Mm -hmm. You know a couple of weeks ago, um, you shared with your fourth period class that you're going to retire for this year. Yes. And you also said that, well, disclosed some upsetting news about your cancer. Yes. Um, I wanted to do something special. <laughs> And to show my support. Oh. <laughs> and I think other people wanted to as well. Everybody turn around so you can see it. We chose Light Blue for prostate cancer and Team Heidemann because you're not this alone. And the surprise is not over yet. If you guys could quickly walk outside and just wait out there. Try to stay here. Quickly, please. And close the door when you're done, please. No, not yet. Go, 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 go.
myself, um, and everybody else here today. I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for being an inspiration every single day by just being here with a smile on your face, despite the uphill battle you're fighting. The three of us felt a, felt a special need to organize a school-wide support system. We hope that from this, you can see how many lives you've touched and how much love there is for you on this campus. And so, we just want to say, we love you, we support you, and we wish you the best in retirement and enjoy your retirement. To be with you here today, John, and your lovely family, and I want to really congratulate the students who organized this and spearheaded this. I mean, that's amazing. Hi, Scott. My name's Amanda Bauer. And we just got to say thank you for being an incredible teacher, um, friend, and uh, mentor. Um, you've taught us so many life lessons, and we appreciate that. And no matter how you respond to your treatments or if your numbers go to the moon and back, we still love you, and there will always be support and prayers for you, and we just appreciate everything you've done for us. Thank you. Thank everyone for coming out. This is such an amazing gathering here for such an amazing human that has done so much for me in my life. I I know that for the rest of my days, I will forever remember your class and what you've taught me. One thing I want to say that is definitely a reoccurring uh, subject about this crime is, uh, is positivity about every single thing in his entire life. Like, he could take like anything from like basketball to football to to answer and make it humorous. He doesn't care what it is, but you can find the humor in every single subject possible. And I just, you can't find that in anyone, really. It's like, it's one trait that is completely unique to Mr. Hyde and to his dedication to the entire school board. So I'd just like to thank him for his dedication of 39 years and uh, everything he's done for this entire school district. journey and in that journey there's ups and downs and there's hills and there's speed bumps you're going to hit all of those but the best thing that you can do is to continue on with the journey I, I, I've been given a, a wonderful journey here at the coast of Manhattan Beach and, and I look at it this way I've got a, a ball in front of me I keep kicking it down the road and my journey is to kick it as far as I can has it gone into the gutter has it gotten lost yes it has on April 1st, when I was told that the cancer I had was in my liver, and I have tumors there, and I have tumors that are around my stomach, and stage four metastatic prostate cancer is what I'm battling, I knew that there were people here and in my life that knew how to keep calm and fight on. And I continue to do that, and I will do that. And I must tell you, the other day my wife had had a great great celebration yesterday. I went to my doctor and my numbers have gone down. And I think this is why. I think this is why. Well, you definitely deserve it from all people. 